Welcome back, everybody, to uh, The Outer Worlds. I am an old guy gaming, and we are going to continue uh, our quest here, our main quest for diverting the power. Uh, we did make the decision a couple of episodes ago that we're going to divert the power to... Um, did we already loot this guy? Yeah. Then we're going to divert the power to the botanical labs. We've made that decision, so it's just a matter of getting it done. We spent... What the hell is that noise? We spent... Um, all of the last two episodes, um, basically going through here, taking out most of the robots and finishing, or I guess I should say doing the next part of the, the robot quest for Ludwig. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, work on that power diversion. So here we go. Okay, modify behavior. Select a new mode. Um, auto mechanicals in this facility have been ma mandated to remain in guard mode. Any attempt to alter this setting is punishable by company law. Your infraction has been noted in your permanent record, C. Higgins. Please see your supervisor to schedule a reprimand. Schedule new target. Uh, they've been mandated to target intruders. Any attempt to... Yeah, we've already done that part. Okay, define intruders. All persons or entities not identified as property of spacer's choice. Would you like to modify the definition of intruders? Yes, we do want to modify that. Define intruders as spacer's choice auto mechanicals. There we go. So, um, now if there are any auto mechanicals left, they should attack each other. I think we probably killed them all though. <laughs> or most of them anyway. Um, okay. Nope. I hear some, I hear some firing going on. How do we get over there? This place is such a maze. I don't think we can go this way, can we? Oh yeah, maybe we do go this way. Hmm. Okay, we got to get over there to that routing switch, so... Uh, how do we do that? Well, the robots are certainly firing at something now. Probably each other, right? Did we come up here already? I think we did. We can't go through that door. Okay, there's a ramp and a walkway over there. Have we been in this room? I think we have. It looks familiar. All right, we got to go this way. We're running around in circles, literally. No, not that way. This way. We've already been over here, right? Yeah. Oh, no worries, Rosemar. No worries. Oh, I appreciate you stopping by and, uh, and watching the vids. Okay. Um. So this door is barred. All right. So what are we missing? Is there another route that we didn't take. That door doesn't open up. That goes outside. Yeah, this just goes back down here. Hmm. Okay, so. <clears throat> what do we do? Oh, here we go. Well, that just goes outside, too. Yeah, that's just the side door back out into the yard. Hmm. Okay, let's go back in here. I don't think there was another 
route through here because this just got went into this little side room. And this is where it told us we had to flip those switches because uh, the main control thing in Medulla wasn't working. All right, let's go back this way. We'll figure it out, man. We'll figure it out. So that's where we found the power uh, or the control module. Now, if we go this way, we come to a door that we can't open because it's barred. So if we come around this way, I don't think there's any other way to go through here because this is just kind of locked. So we've got to go into here. So from here, this was the first switch that we flipped. Huh, okay. I think we have to find two more of those switches. What if we go up here? That gets us on this catwalk. That goes down to where Crazy Higgins is. That just comes back up through here. That's where we came out at. That door's barred too. Is there something else on here? No, that just modifies the behavior of the, of the mechs. All right, I guess we have to go through here. I must have missed another route when we came through here the last time. Oh, there's a doorway there. Here we go. Okay, all right, the place with the steam. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, I forgot about this room. So they're shooting at each other now. That's fine by me. Level head. Ooh, I don't think we want to go through that way. Okay, uh, engineering 20, shut off the steam release valves. Oh, really? We don't have engineering 20? I thought we did. What do we have? Character. Uh, skills. Engineering. We do. Oh, we do, but we're. Oh, shit. Okay. We're tired, so it's, it's reduced. Four points on that. And unfortunately, you can only sleep in your ship on uh, supernova mode. Well, there's got to be an alternate route because not everybody's, you know, going to be an engineer when they play this game. So we got to figure out what that alternate route is. Unexpected. Whoa. Performing an area. Okay. Got him. Man, I love this plasma rifle. <laughs> this thing is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Okay. Uh, here's another switch. That was the second switch. And now we have to do one more. Well, that's how you get through there. But what's in this room here? The other switch. Okay. That's the window we were looking through earlier and we couldn't figure out how to get through that door. Wasted! Woot! Look at us turn our bad selves. Okay. Here, let's unbar this door. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's the door we just unbarred, right? Final switch is right here. <clears throat> Look at that lava flowing, man. That's cool looking. Uh, all right. Do we want to go down here, I guess? Okay, let's let's do our skill points really quick because I think we have a perk this time too. Um, so we want to keep pumping ranged. We want to keep pumping dialogue, and stealth. So we'll put a couple points in there. I don't really, I'm not really an engineer type of character, so don't, you know, we'll get that back after we sleep a little bit and stuff. So I'm not worried about that too much. So let's just keep going. We got six points left. Yeah, let's just keep going, um, you know, pretty equally among these here. Okay, and then we'll apply that. Do we have a perk? No, I guess we don't have a perk. That must have been the last time. Okay, we'll have to wait. You get a perk every two levels. Cool. Okay. Look at all that stuff. So these guys killed themselves mostly. Got a mag pick there. We're going to get ourselves encumbered again. All right. There's a door there. Our objective is off that direction. Let's see what's in this door. Oh, that's the door we unbarred. Okay. We go. Okay, it looks like we go back to the main control room now. Yep. All right, this is the moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we pretty much decided that we are going to di divert power to the biomechanical, or I mean, sorry, the, the bio, wherever the greenhouse place is, <laughs> the bio lab. Um, because I think those guys are ultimately a little more humane than the people in Edgewater, and particularly Thompson, because he's an asshole. So, um, geothermal plant, that's where we're at. Okay, let's do this. Redirect power. Okay, are you sure you want to continue? Irre irreversible procedure, which doesn't make sense. You'd think you'd be able to reverse it later if you wanted to, but that's what it says. Oh, botanical laboratory. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, here we go. Return to root. Okay. Oh, that thing's leaking. That doesn't look good. Mariski, do you have any duct tape on you? We need to fix that leak. See, that's bullshit, because we did speak to the vicar. In fact, we spoke to him so much that he joined our crew, so I don't know why it's not giving me credit for that. But, whatever. Whatever, man. Whatevs. Spacer's choice are now understanding. What does that mean? Does that mean we lost rep with them? Huh. I don't think so. You'd think that they would be, like, really pissed at us now, though, because... Yeah, I think we did lose a little bit of rep with them. These guys, like, are worshipping us right about now. Vendor price is 25%. Very nice. All right, so what do we need to do now? Return to Reed. You diverted Edgewater's power to the bot botanical lab. Reed must be furious. <laughs> He's going to be pissed. But that's okay. We don't like him anyways. He's an asshole. We're probably going to get into a big fight with him, but we'll see. Let's do this, though. Let's uh, go back to our ship. And we need to rest up, eat up, drink up, 
that sort of thing uh, to get our stats back first. And then we will go talk to Reed. He's not going to be happy with us. All right, do we want to do any modifications or anything like that? So we found... We found the plasma rifle. Can we... We could tinker that and we could modify it. All right, what will, what will this do? That will change a plasma weapon to a shock weapon, which we don't want to do. Okay, why... Why does it allow us to add... A plasma mod to a plasma weapon. That doesn't make sense to me. Uh, if we put this thing on here, then it would be more like a, almost a sniper rifle. I don't get this, though. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's do a quick save. Now, this weapon currently does 71 DPS. It can do anywhere from 52 to 118 plasma damage, as it currently is. So, let's, re let's actually repair it first. Okay, so 252 DPS. Wait, that was the wrong weapon. Oh, huh? wait, what? Was it not damaged? No, it must not have been damaged. Okay. So 71 DPS, uh, 52, 118. So now if we modify this and we add a plasma mod to a plasma weapon, which doesn't make sense, does it just make it more powerful? That's what I want to find out. Okay. So it's still 71 DPS. It's still the same power. So what, that doesn't make sense. I almost want to say that's a bug. Because it didn't change the weapon at all. Alright, let's reload. The duct tape is in the garage? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't... That doesn't make sense. Okay, let's repair all that's equipped. Um, all right, well, I guess there's not... The only other thing we could do is... We could turn it to a shock weapon, which of course I don't want to do. Or we could put a, a scope on it, but then, then it's going to be almost more like a sniper weapon. And this, I kind of feel like this is more like a an assault rifle, just a, an energy-based assault rifle. It doesn't have a really high fire rate, though. If we put the, the scope on it... Uh, let's put this plasma weapon in there. Then it's going to look like this when we aim with it. Which isn't really going to be conducive to close or mid-range fighting. Maybe mid-range, but not close range. So I guess we're not going to modify it. I think we're going to leave it as it is, but we can't... Let's tinker it, though. Let's get... Get its level up just a little bit. Uh, where did it go? Did, 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 right here. I'm just going to take it up as high as it'll let me go, because I'm really digging this weapon. Okay, so that's all the money we have. <coughs> so now it's a level 11 weapon. Very cool. Okay, so we're going to do this. Let's uh, put the shotgun... Well, the shotgun's already in two. Uh, 262 versus 104. This still has, like, double the DPS of this gun, though. However, 
for for like single shot you know single cheese shot stuff this is going to be better because this thing will do 173 damage if we charge it whereas this only does 34. so this is going to be a good weapon to use like in close quarters where we're you know where we're spraying and praying but but if we can get sneak shots off you know this is going to actually be better I almost wonder if we should put that scope on it for that reason. Because this guy will do 82 damage. And actually needs to be repaired quite a bit too, doesn't it? No, okay, so that does 102 damage with one single shot. But if we snipe with this guy, it'll do 173 damage. What's the range on this? Effective range is 25 meters max range is 200 meters that's a huge difference there whereas this guy has an effective range of 101 meters and a max range of three so this is still a true sniper rifle right here pretty cool though you know trying to figure out all these weapons I, i'm loving this stuff this is great all right the hammer does 142, that does 133. So this was really, really good against the, the mechs. But I think this weapon's going to be better against, like, human targets. And we want to still keep this guy, too. So um, I'm not real impressed with the auto mag pistol, but it'll it sells for a lot of money. So we should take that to the botanical garden since we got that nice little, you know, buying a bonus with them and sell that for some bank. Uh, this guy will sell for 25. That's pretty good. That'll sell for 39. Yeah, I think we need to sell all this stuff. I don't think we should be breaking it down. Now, on this armor... Can we modify this new armor and put the Nightingale thingamadoodle on it? What's that do? Yeah, we can. Excellent. Okay, so now this is going to become our main armor here. Just because it looks so badass. <laughs> Look at that hood, dude. I love that. That is so cool. Um, and I don't think we need this heavy power armor anymore. So that sells for 18. We could sell that off. If we're just going to be like in a big old brawl, um, this would be a better helmet to wear, but if we're trying to be sneaky sneaky, that's going to be a better one. That gives us melee. And that's sneak. This is lockpick. That's sneak as well, but that's a helmet. So this is the only one that we don't really need right here. So I think we should probably sell that too. Okay, enough screwing around with the inventory. Let's go ahead and sleep. And then I think we're going to take a quick trip to Botanical Gardens to sell. And then we're going to go talk to Thompson and have him yell at us. We're not doing what he wanted us to do. But we don't care because he's a jerk. What's this do? Caffeine in lotion form. Really? That's interesting. Okay. Uh, we need to drink, so let's take uh, two of these, and that should get our hydration back, and then let's eat. Uh, what do we want to eat? Guess we'll eat a couple of things of bread. Okay, we are in tip-top shape. Let's do a quick save and take off. So if we want to go back to Botanical, we need to actually go this way. And then we'll cross over to the town at that point. And since it's been quite some time, we're probably going to run into Repops again. Uh, well, maybe not. Maybe not. wonder where that road on that mountain goes to. I think we're supposed to at some point fight this um, Manticore boss thingamadoodle. And that's probably how you get up there, would be my guess. 
Okay, we're going to sneak past the primals. I don't want to mess with them right now. I'm sure we could take them, but... That big guy right there, he's uh, he's mean. Oh shit, he sees me. I'm stuck. <laughs> Run away! Okay. We're good. We're good. So we're going to head to Botanical Gardens. We're going to sell, and then we're going to go talk to Do uh, Dobson. Do T T Tom... Whatever that guy's name is. Dobson? No, that's not Dobson. It's, uh... Is it Dobson? Can't remember. Thompson. That's what it is. Thompson. That big old named dog guy still over there? Yep, there he is right there. Orthrus. There's got to be a quest to kill that thing, I'll bet. Already loot that? Yep. Okay, so it's um Stefan, I think is the guy's name. He's the vendor around here. There he is. Alright, buddy. Give us some Zoe good prices. She fought her way out of a marauder camp with her own bare hands. I don't know if I, I would believe that, but anyway. Fresh off the limb, and that includes canid meat. Okay, so we get a 30% discount. Does that apply to selling, though, too? Like, do we get a 30% increase in selling stuff? I don't know. I don't know. I assumed that that's what it meant, but I could be wrong about that, actually. We got some nice mods there. All right, let's see. What is there stuff here we want to sell? We're getting kind of filled up with these consumables. Uh, I guess we have like two pages worth so i'm gonna hang on to most of the stuff until we get to a point where we absolutely have to sell it because it does stack so it could be well, the thing is though it, it also weighs something too so yeah we'll see okay what was i gonna sell i was gonna sell this so we don't need that power arm anymore um let's sell the impact hammer let's sell the automag pistol And I think that's it. Right? No, why do we have two of these? That's a 277 DPS. That's a 262 plasma DPS. With a gyro sight. Uh, you know what I should have done, you guys? I should have modified this back at the workbench. I forgot about that. Then we could have sold this one off. All right, well, I'll try and remember that for next time. I think we should sell this too. We're done with that. We'll put the plasma up there. Oh wait, no. Something We're not selling. We're in our inventory. Fresh up. Okay, so sell weapons. Uh, so we want to sell this. Um, I think I'm gonna sell that handgun too. I don't. I haven't been using it. And should we sell the light machine gun? That does pretty good DPS. I think we'll hang on to that for a little bit longer. All right. There we go. I think they'd get mad if we killed their chicken. Probably. All right. Let's see if uh, 
Adelaide's happy with us now for diverting all the power over here. Whoops, wrong button. You hear that? That low, pleasant hum of electricity? It whispers across the veil like the winds of change. You've done well. Well, you I think so. I paid my last five bits to see the look on Reed's face when the last lamp in town burnt out and the cannery fell to silence. What happens now? Time's come to look toward the future. We'll grow, I expect. A lot of workers out there with nowhere else to go. You don't sound too pleased and a lot more mouths to feed. I'm not sure I made the right decision. Um, I'm... I feel like I made the right decision, unless there's more to it that I don't know about, but I had to work on the information that I had at the time, so... You don't sound too pleased. I don't look forward to turning folk away. Camp's gotta stay pure, though. Can't have corporate loyalists mixing with us, no matter how desperate they may be. Wait a minute. I am curious. Why did you help us? You don't know who we are. You don't owe us a thing. The plant's crawling with mechanicals, so it stands to reason you risked your life. Wait a minute. Are you saying you're not going to take in the villagers? That's not what you led me to believe earlier. Uh, I didn't do this for you. I'm trying to repair a ship. Well, that is true. Well, I have got nothing against a little good old-fashioned pragmatism. You're welcome among us if you're ever so inclined. All right, um, I could have sworn, though, she said that if anybody wants to leave the village, that they would be welcome over here. Hmm. Because otherwise, if I hadn't, you know, if she was not going to take in the villagers, I mean, because, or not the villagers, the people in the town, here's the thing, the people in the town, like, 95% of the population are just workers. I mean, they're not bad people. They're just kind of stuck in the, you know, in that situation. So, sounds to me like she's saying she's not going to take him in, though. Well, too late now. We can't reverse it. It is what it is. Let's just move on. You have anything nice to say to us, or are you still going to be rude? I don't know what you did to talk some sense into Zoe. That's a little better. I appreciate it. Does she like your daughter or something? How come you, like, have it in for her so much? I don't know. All right. Well, looks like um, it's time for us to wrap up this episode, guys. So in the next episode, we are going to go into town. We're going to talk to Reed Thompson. He's going to be really pissed at us, and we'll probably have a big firefight, and people will die horribly. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching. hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. All those things do help, and I do appreciate it. And we'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.